What's up, team? Welcome to the video. It is 11.59 a.m. on Monday morning, and I am dragging because I took a red eye from Phoenix to New York last night and uh, had a middle seat and couldn't get out of it and didn't sleep. Um, I mean, I like dozed off on takeoff a little bit and landing, but I basically didn't sleep. And then I slept in the cab on the way from Newark back into the city, but I'm just like all discombobulated. I got a Got this guy with four shots of espresso, so it's picking me up, but I'm still a little delirious. Um, but yeah, want to make a video. I took a red eye too because it gave me that full third day to hang out with my grandparents. Like I got there Friday at 10 a.m. and flying west to east, if you don't take a red eye, you basically give the whole day away or at least three quarters of it with a three hour time giveaway. Um, and like getting to the airport and stuff. So it was a 10.30 flight. I got the entire day Sunday, which was like good solid. And uh, yeah, so I'm happy I did it. I'm just paying for it right now, which transitions nicely into today's video topic, which is about the cost and benefit of sticking to your diet versus doing something fun in life. And what made me think of this was an email from a client who said uh, he basically, like he's hitting his macros, that's kind of a no brainer or at least getting close, but he's also eating primarily nutritious foods and feeling really good. He's all about that year of the micro, he's on it. And he went out to dinner with his father um, and said, you know, it's not, it wasn't healthy food. He basically didn't feel good, like physically just upset stomach, didn't feel good after that dinner with his dad. Uh, even though he wasn't worried about going off track, he said he kept calories really low during the day, had plenty of wiggle room with the meal, but it was just that his body wasn't used to all that fat, all of that like unhealthy food, um, which I get, which I can relate to. Like coming off of this weekend, I actually feel my micro game was weak. I had some fruit, but I didn't have a ton of vegetables, you know, bl blueberry pie, uh, ribs, pizza, ice cream. Like those are all things I was eating with my grandparents. And so, um, yeah, it, it like, I get that. But what you need to ask yourself is, it's a cost benefit. Is the cost of like feeling slightly less amazing by not being on your diet perfectly, is that worth the benefit of that enjoyment of that family time of that social experience? And it can be anything. It doesn't have to be like with your dad or with your grandpa. It can be a bachelor or a bachelorette party. It can be a wedding. It can be a vacation. Um, we really need to look at the cost benefit. And, and it also doesn't have to be you're the micros stuff, right? It can be sticking to your diet versus giving away one or two weeks of progress because you only get to do this type of trip once a year or you only get to have this type of weekend once every six months and it's worth it to you to give away 10 days of progress and really enjoy yourself. Um, like that cost is worth the benefit of the situation. It's, it's, it's consistency over perfection. It's back to, you know, we're not trying to nail every single day. We're trying to make these principles, these training and nutrition principles align with our lifestyle to enhance our lifestyle and perfection in nutrition especially is not something that enhances our lifestyle. Getting close most of the time does. And uh, and letting yourself have those days where you intentionally aren't hitting your, like aren't on track, aren't eating clean. I don't even wanna use that word, but it is kind of aligned with you or the micros. Um, yeah, it's, it's not letting those bad days take you off track. It's on my mind. Me and my, my shaved head, which I know you guys love, what's up? Um, yeah, that's it. I'm, uh, I'm gonna try and get my butt going. I've just been doing kind of admin type work, renewing insurance. Uh, I got a whole bunch of tax stuff here. Ugh. Yeah, that's what's on today's grind. So thank you for watching this video. Just keep this in mind. I know a lot of people stress out about one bad day or two bad days, but think about the cost benefit of, um, life versus veering off your diet because it probably often makes sense to veer slightly off and enjoy those things that life has to offer. Thank you very much for watching. Please hit the like button. See you tomorrow.